long as I got everything going the way it needs to go. Well, we're out here on Saturday. Uh, my son-in-law is came over and he's building fires for me. We, we're going to um, um, cook a ham. Cook it. What are we going to do, Brian? We're going to cook a ham. Yeah. In a cast iron, fourteen-inch deep Dutch oven. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Over the campfire. Over the campfire. So I'm going to pan around here a little bit. cook it on this tripod right here we're getting a fire started well my son-in-law is getting a fire started and then I'm going to show you how we season it up before we put it in the pan or the Dutch oven should I say <clears throat> this is my granddaughter she came out to see us say hi you're on camera What you want to have a girl? I want you to start the movie. That was my mom's side. You want me to start your movie? Let's look your coat. You stay down here. No, I want you to start my movie. Alright. Can you give me a couple minutes, please? No! I'll, I'll do it in a second. No, do Okay, we're recording. To hold and do it? Huh? To hold and do it? No, it's, it's hard to see when it's, it's on or not. We're having a little bit of a hard time getting our fire started here, but it's going to take off. Yeah, the bottom of the thing was wet. It'll dry out. So, yeah. We're just killing mosquitoes now. It's too cold for mosquitoes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is, uh, I haven't it's recorded out here, out back yet. I had the sun, I think where I was sitting, I had the sun in it, Brian. Did you? Yeah. You got another one of those fire starters? It's gonna burn. I know, I was just trying to get that Kimlin to catch on the top. We got some chimneys going, chimneys going over here. I brought them back from Texas when I was out, out at uh, uh, Courtside, Arizona. On the way back, I stopped in a place called Canton, Texas, and uh, uh, bought those. I, I bought a trailer, a load of them back, and sold them. Yeah, there it goes. I got a goose down here, it's nesting. I don't know if she's sitting on her nest today or not, but we'll go see. Yeah, she's on her nest. I don't know if you guys can see her yet or not. But she's there just sound asleep. She doesn't even know I'm here yet. See her right there? Oh yeah. She got her eye on me. And here comes the dad. See him there? And here she is on her nest. And there he is. You gotta watch him because he'll he'll get nasty. Yeah, he's a bad boy. You see him right there. He'll actually fly up here and try to get me. We ain't gonna let that happen though. So I was just showing you that there's her nest over there. I saw the lake.
Be back with you here in a minute. Okay, this has been on the fire out there on a the tripod for about an hour and a half. I'm gonna open it up, let you have a look at it. Ooh, look at that. Tilt it up here so you can see it. It's cooking real nice. It didn't stick to the pan. Can you see it? Yep, Sti looks it. good. So what I'm gonna do is put some lemon peel, dry lemon peel on it for, for flavor. I think it's time for it. Oh, that baby's hot, Brian. That looks like, <laughs> it looks like it too. Yeah, it looks wonderful. Get it? Oh yeah. I think I'll turn it over here. That skin looks good too. Put some, put some lemon on there. I'm gonna go with some more paprika. And you can do all this according to your taste. Okay, we're gonna put we're gonna put it back on the fire and let it go for about another probably hour because it's looking real nice, cooking real good, not sticking to the pan. This is a new Dutch oven. It was pre-seasoned from the factory. I re-seasoned it. Uh, it's made by the, the Lodge Company, and again, they don't sponsor me in any way. It's just it's just the type of cookware I've chose. My son-in-law, he he turned me onto it, and I really like it. So. Okay, we'll see you back in about an hour. There it is. It's our Easter ham. You got a shot of it, right? I do. Delicious. Cooked it about for three hours. We're gonna let it set.